Hello all and welcome to the next installment of the Sweet Dash Academy. My name is Taylor and today we turn our attention to a very exciting new feature, LMS. LMS, or a learning management system, is going to prove itself to be useful not only to your customers, but also to your internal staff. As I teach you how to set it up inside of your Sweet Dash portal, I'm going to keep referencing an analogy that will help drive home the structure of an LMS. It all starts with a product. Inside of a product, you can have just a single course or multiple courses. Within those courses, you will find modules. Finally, modules will contain your various lessons. So to make things easy, let's compare it to a bookstore. Your LMS is like a bookstore full of books. A product is like a book series or collection focused on a particular topic. Courses are represented by the individual books within that series or collection. Modules are the chapters inside each one of those individual books. And the lessons are the core content organized by subject matter. Got it? Yes? No? If not, no sweat. I'll keep coming back to this, but for now, let's keep moving forward. Clicking LMS and then Products on the left side menu will land you on the current screen we're looking at. Yours will be a fresh, clean slate. To start building, we need to first add a product. But before we dive in, let me first break down the difference between a single course product and a multi-course product. Start thinking of a product as the price point. And with that in mind, let's look at a multi-course product first. Let's say I have a course that outlines how to trout fish. Let's call it Trout Fishing for Beginners. That course could live inside a few different places at once. It could be in my Southeast Fishing Bundle, which has five different courses and is priced at $17.50. At the same time, it could also be in my River Fishing Bundle, which contains three videos and costs $12. It's the same course, just dropped into a few different products that have various price points, depending on their overall contents. But what if I just wanted to sell or grant ownership of my Trout Fishing for Beginners course all on its own? That's when a single course product comes into play. We give you these options because you may want to allow a course the chance to stand on its own or make them exclusive to certain products, like CDs back in the 90s. You really only wanted the radio single, but you had to buy the full album to get it. I'm going to guess you're starting from scratch on this one. So let's make sure the I'm creating a course box is highlighted and click next. Nothing we need to change here, so let's keep cruising. Now don't let this next prompt box throw you. Before you create all the details for your product, we must first outline what one of the courses will be. Now we're ready to tackle the product details. Make sure the title displays what you want as the product name. Like we just talked about, if it's a single course product, think about keeping the course and product name the same. However, if it's a multi-course product, have some fun and think about giving it a name that will describe the bundle as a whole. Creating different categories is entirely up to you and that process is easy. So let's pause here and check that out. Head on up to your flyout menu and then click on categories. Now we'll travel over to LMS product category and then finally let's add that category. Name your new category, change the color if you'd like and let's add it. Using our bookstore analogy from before, you can think of product categories as sections of the bookstore, like a photography or a woodworking section. So in relation to the LMS, you would use these categories to organize your products by subject matter. Before clicking next, notice that our first course has already been dropped in automatically. Reminder, we just filled in all of the course details on the previous prompt box. See that? And you thought there was no rhyme or reason as to why we had to fill out the course details first. All right, now we can click next. We just knocked out two birds with one stone. Actually, scratch that turn of phrase. In case a representative of PETA is watching this, let's say we just fed two birds with one handful of seeds. Either way, we have successfully created the beginnings of our first product 
and the first course that will live inside of that product. Now, let's finish that course by clicking Manage. As we learned earlier, modules or chapters live inside a course. So click on Add Module. I have a few modules I'd like to add, and I need to create them one by one. Once we have our modules or chapters into place, we can fill them with content, or in our case, different lessons. Let's fill a module up together. Start out by giving your lesson a title. From there, we can click to edit the text box just like you do when creating portal page content. Remember, you can use formatting to make headings and subheadings stand out. Take your time in making this look exactly the way you want, and don't forget you can add images and even embed video to make your lesson more engaging. But wait, before you leave this page, let's take a look at a few of the options hanging out on the right side. You can use Preview to check out what your lesson will look like to your participants and even drop in some lesson materials if you want them to dive in deeper. This is great if you have some lengthy PDFs that may junk up the aesthetic of your displayed lesson. Now, once you're happy, click on Save Draft, and this will keep the page behind the scenes until you're ready to go live. You'll notice a circle with a line through it next to the lesson we just created. That symbolizes the lesson being saved as a draft. Before taking it live to your audience, you will publish each lesson. At that point, this symbol will change to a green circle with a check mark indicating that all systems are a go. Follow the steps we just took for each lesson you wish to create inside of each module you have. And don't forget to edit the course completed page, which is camped out at the bottom. You know, a nice virtual pat on the back for a job well done. There's two really cool things I want to point out to you before we move forward. Just like you've seen before, there are some options on the right hand side that can alter your LMS on a global level. You know we love our aesthetics around here and always aim to give you as much control as possible in that department. So don't overlook the different styling options available to you. Secondly, how do you want your participants to complete the course? Free navigation will allow them to bounce back and forth between the various lessons in each module, even if they have not completed that section. Whereas linear navigation is the complete opposite. This option forces the participant to click, I have completed this lesson before it allows them to see the next one. This is especially useful for internal training purposes. Okay, folks. Don't hit the fast forward button because we're in the home stretch. Before I teach you how to grant your participants access to your awesome newly created LMS product, we need to make sure they can be seen publicly. Remember earlier when we saved each lesson as a draft rather than publishing? Well, it's time to flip the switch. Is everything looking good and feeling good? All right then, click publish in the top right corner. After receiving the success message, click to go back to your other lessons and publish each one in the same way. All of my lessons have the green light, and our next step is to publish the course containing the lessons. And now that we've published the course, let's finish off by activating the overall product. All right, this thing is ready to see the light of day. Now we just need to grant ownership of the LMS product to one of our contacts. There are a few different ways in which you can make this happen, but today I'm gonna to show you my favorite two. Since we're still on the product page, let's start with granting someone ownership while working inside the product. Click on owners and then search for your desired contact you are able to add multiple people to this at one time, so don't be shy. Click on save to make sure we locked in our action and then voila, 
The contacts you chose will now have access to this LMS product. They will find it on their left side navigation menu under the category Learn. The second way in which to grant ownership to a client that I'm going to show you today is simply going through your CRM. But keep in mind that in most areas of the platform, you will find the option to grant product ownership. You can even set it up as a triggered action or while in the process of creating a kickoff form. And don't forget, if you will be using LMS to train your internal staff, you can grant them ownership while creating or editing their profile, just like you would a client. So how can you make money selling your LMS products? Here at Sweet Dash, we are constantly improving our features based on feedback from our community and LMS will be no exception. As we continue to roll out our LMS feature, the functionality and possibilities will only increase. And that includes the future rollout of LMS landing pages, which are publicly available pages where prospective customers can view the product details, pay right there on that page, and then gain immediate access based on your desired assignments and automations. For now, you can manually add client or staff as a product owner, or you can use a kickoff form to build an intake funnel that automatically adds them as a product owner. To make it a paid access situation, simply toggle the paid portal access feature. This will let you charge a one-time fee or set up a subscription, then require that an invoice must be paid before the customer can gain entry into the portal, and there they would have access to the appropriate LMS products. We are super excited to discover the various ways in which you will utilize the LMS feature. There are a lot of opportunities for growth in this department, and we will keep you updated as things progress. So strap in and hang on tight. But that's all for today. My name is Taylor, and it's been a pleasure showing you around our learning management system. See you next time, sweetmates.